Hey, it's Chuck, one of the CFS product specialists with a quick overview of popular book binding choices for your documents. This video is ideal for someone new to binding or who may be looking to switch binding methods. Plastic coil binding uses a continuous spring-like binding element and comes in the widest assortment of color choices. Step one is to punch the inside pages and the front and back covers. For the second step, jog and cleanly align your book, then twist the coil into the first five or so holes and finish by hand or with a coil inserting machine. For the last step, you'll crimp and cut off the excess coil ends. Using coil pliers, make sure the red dot is facing upwards towards the ceiling. Place them at the last ring passing through the book and squeeze the pliers tight. This forms the crimp so the coil won't spin out of the book. Then just repeat for the remaining side and your book's all done. Plastic comb is one of the few binding types that allows pages to be removed or inserted without destroying the binding element. Step one, punch the inside pages and the front and back covers. For step two, place a comb in the comb spreader and pull the handle down to open the teeth of the comb. Thread the booklet pages onto the comb teeth, starting with the cover, then the inside pages, and finally the back cover. Step three, release the lever to allow the comb to move to its closed position and remove your booklet. You're all set. Wire binding, sometimes called double loop or twin loop wire, uses a color-coded wire that is crimped closed. First step, punch the inside pages and the front and back covers. So are you noticing any pattern here with all these binding methods? Second step, use the machine's wire hanger to hold the wire in place while you thread the sheets onto it. Start with the back page first, followed by the rest of the pages ending with page one, then the front cover, and then the back cover, but make sure it's flipped over. Once bound, this will allow you to hide the wire teeth seams. Last step, finish by crimping the open wire loops using a wire closer. This squeezes the wires into a closed round configuration. Then flip the back cover over, and you're all done. Wire comb or spiral O-wire is designed to offer some flexibility and uses the same exact hole pattern as plastic combs. So step one, punch the inside pages and the front and back covers on a plastic comb punch that does the rectangular 19 hole punch configuration. Jog your pages and insert the narrow wire loop teeth into the holes. Back page first, then inside pages, front cover, then finally the back cover flipped over. Squeeze the open wire closed using a wire closer and then flip the back cover over and your book's all done. Velo binding is often used for legal documents and uses two plastic strips sealed together with heat. Step one, you guessed it, punch the inside pages and the back covers. Next, locate the guide pin hole on the back velo strip and line it up in the machine's recessed channel. Jog and place your sheets on top of the back strip. Then thread the front strip prongs all the way down, flush against the book. Then finish by placing the pressure bar down on top of the book. The machine squeezes the binding strips together, then seals the prongs with a hot knife and releases when it's done. Tape binding uses a glue-coated fabric strip that's heated up to hold the pages together without punching. 
Step 1. Insert a tape strip into the machine. Step 2. Jog your book and place it into the machine's channel. Lastly, press the start button to allow the glue to melt and seal the binding edge. The book should have ample time to sit untouched to allow the glue to cool and harden. Screw posts are inserted into drilled or punched holes just like those used for three ring binders. Step one, insert the rear barrel post with the threads on the inside into the back of one of the holes. For the second step, thread the cap screw from the top into the barrel post and twist until finger tight. And repeat for all remaining holes. For the last step, finish by securing the screws tight with a flat blade screwdriver. So that's our quick video overview of popular booklet binding choices. If you'd like to learn more details and get into the specifics of each binding type, you can download our Find a Bind quick reference guide from our website. And as always, if you have any questions on binding, you can visit our website at www.cfsbindingsupplies.com or, or email them to me at info at cfsbindingsupplies.com. Thanks for watching.